Hello, I'm coach John Shepherd, and in this video we're going to take a look at the triple jump and in particular the transition from the hop to the step. This is something that I've found over the years that needs particular emphasis and specific technical work on. To achieve optimum distance in the triple jump you've got to attain around 30% of the total distance jumped on the step. So if the step is much shorter, you're not going to jump as far as what you would. Although there's a lot more to it, I'll identify two basic issues in order to achieve a better step. And that's the physical conditioning required to absorb the impact from the hop and go into the step. And also the contact and the technical element that enables the jumper to swing the free leg up into the step phase. Firstly, from a technical perspective, you need to have space between the knees on the contact going into the step. That shows that the free leg can swing up into the step. If the knees are too close, then that won't happen. So, you'll be able to identify that Jahisha's knee position wasn't sufficient in order to get that swing into the step, whereas Michael here does separate the knees coming into the step of contact and there's a greater space for him to swing forwards and up into his step phase. I've put the two jumpers side by side and you'll see the difference as they're coming into the step phase. Michael's leg is much further back, his swing leg, so he can get it through into that step. Just for reference, here's a still of Christian Taylor and you'll see how far his knee is back on contact going into the step. Okay, one more clip before we go on to some drills. Here's Michael again and you can see that he also gets his free thigh up to near parallel in the step phase, although on this effort he does lose a little bit of balance. So he swings it up and holds and then pushes out into the jump phase. So that's another crucial aspect of the step, swinging the hip up and away and holding. Okay, so now let's take a look at some drills which you can use to better condition and improve the technical elements of the transition between the hop and the step. If you'd like to support the channel or become a better coach or athlete, then do check out the members area on the site. Go to the channel's homepage and click on join and you'll see the various offers that are available. At coach athlete level, for example, you'll get a monthly exclusive video and regular community posts that talk about biomechanics and other aspects that will improve you as a coach or athlete. And for just $1.99 a month, you can support the channel and help me to produce the content that I'm doing at the moment. This one involves two hops followed by a step, and it's a sequence which is repeated. It's difficult to generate speed from the second hop. However, the athlete has to rotate into each hop contact and then swing up into the step. So they've got to really focus on the positions needed and the swinging of the thigh into that step from the second hop. It's interesting when you begin to look back at the videos of your athletes and you begin to spot some different things, things you didn't actually see when you were coaching in person. I've noticed that doing these drills, Jahisha's swing leg is left longer when she's transitioning into the step, whereas in the competition, her swing leg is more bent. So I'm going to look more into this to see whether or not this position actually benefits. A longer lever will slow the transition into the step due to the length of the lever, but it may enable the jumper to get into a better step position. After a couple of reps of the previous drills, we then went over to the pit and replicated it by doing two hops and a step, so fewer contacts and greater speed. The final progression was simply a hop and a step. And it's interesting again to see that the swing leg is left longer 
does get into a good position in the step phase. So it's definitely something that I'm going to work on. The height of the preceding hop obviously does make a difference and I was trying to get Jahisha to go out and flat on both the two hops and single hop variant of this drill and try to make it easier for her to bring speed into the step. Okay, let's look at another variation, a variation on the same theme. So I'm using the hurdles here for Toby to jump over and achieve the relevant distance. Okay, they're by the side of him, but the objective is to swing the free leg up, for example, in the step phase over that final hurdle. And we can definitely see that recurring theme of this video, the separation between the knees going into the step phase. I also tried the same drill out with a couple of other of the triple jumpers and you can progress to it using just two hops so the athlete builds up confidence. Obviously this will specifically start to work the hopping leg and the higher cycle and the drive across each hop. Confidence also has to be gained when going over the hurdles rather than simulating them, having them next to you. But here Ignatius forms a good job of getting over those hurdles, driving forwards on the hops, swinging into each takeoff, getting the arms into the correct position and then separating and holding the knee in order to get into a good step. As usual, thanks for watching and good luck with any competitions you may have. If you have any questions or comments on this particular video or others, please leave them in the comments section below or through my other social media and do subscribe to the channel. If you would like information on the free lap timing system, which is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and is extremely portable and works via Bluetooth and your smart device, then do get in contact with me. And do check out the new Jump Nation designs added to the channel's store. My good friend and fellow coach Lloyd Cowan recently passed away and a foundation has been set up in his memory. Lloyd was loved and respected by all and among his friends is a certain Mr. Bolt. Hi everyone, you seen Bolt here. I'm just encouraging everybody to go and support the Lloyd Cowan Bursary. Uh, it's for unsponsored athletes. It's for the under 23 at least just to be specific i'll be donating to that so i'm just encourage everybody to go and to support and to give an helping hand to the artists that are unfortunately not able to help themselves with spikes and nutrition and so on so go and support <laughs>